All right, the M4 MacBook Air is here and it's insanely fast, but hardware alone won't make you more productive. So today I'm breaking down seven must-have apps that'll boost your workflow, clean up your Mac, and make everyday tasks way smoother. Hey everyone, it's Renz. Welcome back to the channel. All right, let's talk about Spotlight. Mac's built-in search tool, it's fine. It gets the job done. But if you actually want speed, efficiency, and real customization, Spotlight just doesn't cut it. This is where Raycast comes in. So Raycast is basically Spotlight on steroids. It's a lightning fast app launcher, file searcher, and automation tool, all packed into one minimal but powerful interface. Where Raycast really shines is with its custom actions and shortcuts. So you know those annoying little tasks you do over and over, for example, like switching between apps, toggling settings, copying files, or even running web searches? With Raycast, you can automate all of that. For example, instead of opening Safari, typing Google, waiting for the page to load, then searching, I can literally just like hit a hotkey, type my search, and boom, it opens instantly. Now multiply that by everything you do, launching apps, toggling system settings, managing files, and you start to see why Raycast is just really powerful. Now there is Alfred, which is another great spotlight replacement, but you have to pay for most of those advanced features. And Raycast is completely free. Plus Raycast has built-in extensions so you can add things like clipboard history, 2FA codes, and even a confetti animation for when you complete a task. So bottom line, Raycast is an absolute must-have. All right, so macOS lets you change your wallpaper, tweak a few settings, and move the dock to the left or right. But that's pretty much it. That's all the customization that Apple gives gives us, but if you actually want to control how your dock looks and functions, you need to check out Dock Fix. Now what's really cool about this app is that it unlocks the customization options that Apple should have included from day one, changing colors, transparency, animations, and even replacing the dock entirely. Now it's not just about making things look cool though, it's all about functionality. Dock Fix lets you organize your apps into folders, create website shortcuts, and even add a temporary file shelf, which honestly is a game changer if you're tired of dumping random screenshots all over your desktop. I have mine set to just like a nice clean black dock that appears with the nice analog clock on the left side. But again, you can customize it to your heart's content. The only downside is that since it's a newer app, the community hasn't built out a ton of custom themes yet. Honestly, even with the built-in options, it's already a massive upgrade over the Mac OS default dock. So if you want a cleaner, more customizable setup, check out DockFix. All right, I don't know about you guys, but staying focused for me gets hard at times. I sit down to work and suddenly I'm like doom scrolling X, watching YouTube or checking emails that I definitely could have waited on. If that's something you struggle with, Session is exactly what you need. This app is a Pomodoro style focus timer, which means it helps you stay on task by breaking work into focused sessions with scheduled breaks. Now what's really cool is that it even tracks your progress, showing how much time you've actually worked and where you're spending most of your focus. If you're into automation, it also integrates with Apple shortcuts and Slack, making it easy to sync with your workflow. And if the default 25 minute Pomodoro sessions don't work for you, you can fully customize it. And if you're a student, creative, or someone who works from home, this structure keeps you from procrastinating. So there is a free version, but if you want the full feature set, the premium plan starts at $4.99 a month or you can get it through Setup if you're already subscribed. So if you've ever caught yourself not being productive, download Session and try it out. All right, let's talk about menu bar clutter. Sometimes the max menu bar gets a little crazy with a ton of apps and you can get cluttered. The weird part is Apple doesn't give us a clean way to organize, hide, or manage menu bar icons. This is where Ice comes in. It's a free open source alternative to Bartender that lets you hide, reveal, and customize menu bar icons so your setup actually looks clean and functions how you want it to. And if you like customization, Ice lets you tweak tints, add borders, and even split the menu bar into sections so it matches macOS's clean aesthetic. And the best part is that it's completely free, but you can support the developer with donations if you really love it. So if your menu bar is a disorganized mess, download Ice, clean it up, and enjoy a way better experience with your MacBook. All right, let's be honest, the MacBook notch, it literally just sits there. It doesn't do anything, it takes up screen space, but what if the notch was actually useful? That's what Notch Nook does. It turns a MacBook notch into an interactive Active hub, kind of like the dynamic island on the iPhone. With a swipe or click, Notch Nook drops down a menu with media controls for apps like Apple Music or Spotify, widgets for quick access to system info, a tray tab where you can even drop files for temporary storage, 
It's like having a second dock, but one that auto clears itself when you close the app. And even if your Mac doesn't have a notch, Notch Nook simulates one, so you can still use all the features. For the M4 MacBook Air users, this is a no-brainer. Honestly, this is one of those apps that I need to have for my MacBook. Next, let's talk about something simple but surprisingly annoying, inserting emojis on macOS. And that's where Rocket comes in. It completely fixes how emojis work on macOS. Instead of opening a separate menu, Rocket lets you just type a colon, followed by the emoji name, and it's super convenient. So if you type like colon fire, you get a fire emoji, no extra steps, no clicking around. And if you don't remember the exact emoji name, no problem. Rocket has fuzzy search, so even if you type colon laugh instead of colon lol, it'll still find the right emoji. Now I love having this on my MacBook because it also works universally across all apps. So no matter where you're typing, it's there when you need it. And the best part is that it's free. If you're tired of your Mac falling asleep during important tasks, Amphetamine solves that. This free app keeps your Mac awake either indefinitely or for a custom amount of time with just one click. You can also set smart rules like keeping your Mac awake while certain apps are running, or even when it an external display is connected. It's perfect for preventing interruptions during downloads, backups, or long renders. Oh, and the best of all, it's completely free and ad-free as well. So that wraps up my seven must-have apps for the new M4 MacBook Air. These are apps that I think are the first that you should download if you just picked up a MacBook. Now, each one of these apps boosts productivity, enhances customization, and just makes using your Mac way more efficient. These tools hopefully help you work smarter and faster without getting in the way. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit like and subscribe for more Mac and tech content. And I actually want to hear from you. What's your favorite Mac app? Is there a must-have tool that I need to check out? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.